Hello everyone. Today let us learn the steam overhead tank. How to analyze and design. Let us start with that. The height up to 3 and 6 and height is of water tank height is 4, 2 meters. Let us close the grid. Okay. And let us have control. Let us copy. Let us translate to the other direction. Z axis. Number of steps is 1. The spacing is of 4 meters. Okay. Link the steps. Base is open. Okay. This is what is our tank. Let us give the bracings to this by adding the add beam. Now this is what is our tank. Let us create plates for the water retaining structure. Let us take this generate surface mesh. Okay, quadrilateral. Okay. Let us give the divisions one by one meter. Like the same way we can give everywhere one meter. So that is the reason why AB length is 5 meters, the divisions will be inside. So 1 meter by 1 meter plate will get. Let us apply. In the same manner, let us do for the sides of the water tank also. Quadrilateral, okay. We have the divisions. Apply. In the same fashion, let us do all three sides also. Now we have created all the plates, all the four sides at the bottom of the uh, water tank. Let us go to, then all these members are divided. Let us merge all these as a single beam. View direction, let us change. And then take this bottom and view in the new window. Let us see the. All these are divided. Let us make it a simple by matching all these things and go to geometry, merge, yes, close. Now it will become one element of the same fashion here also we will do. Go to the geometry, merge the selected numbers, merge and close. Same fashion let us do in the other two directions also. In the same fashion, let us do at the uh, top members also as a single elements. Let us merge those things in the same fashion. Okay, let us go to the geometry, merge the member, merge and close. Now we have merged the top members also as a single. Let us go to the entire structure now all the elements bottom elements it becomes a single element bottom and the top elements right let us give the supports into the general let us give the supports create the support extend add let us select the support and select the nodes at the bottom Four nodes are selected. Add yes. Right. Then let us give the properties to this. Go to the database. Go to the Indian. 
take a T section at the bottom of the for the bottom members and take the angle section for the columns element for the angular members ok 3 elements we have taken ok let us take the thickness of the plate that is the column will take 0 0.012 and close right let us assign these elements thickness take the plate cursor control A assign to the selected plates yes and this will give to the only at the bottom of the tank. Let us go take the beam cursor and assign to this order, assign to the beams. Yes, this will give to the horizontal and vertical members only here and then to the here. And for these two, and we have given two these, right? Assigned to the selected beams. No, no. We'll take out these angular members. Let us assign to these members, assign to the selected members, assign, yes, let us assign this member to the inclined members, let us select the inclined members in this fashion, hold the control, right, these two. Assign to the inclined members. Assign. Yes. Now all the elements were given. Some are the other property. Okay. Right. Let us assign the loads. Let us take first the main loads. Main definitions. Add it. Okay. Close. Select the main. And let us custom, let us calculate as per ASTE, it is a 44 meters per second, meters per second, apply, okay, and factor is 1, and close, it should be assigned to the entire structure. Assigned. Let us give the loads now. Add dead load. Add now live load. Add wind load. Wind load in x direction and wind load in z direction and wind load in minus x direction and wind load in minus z direction. Dead load is nothing but only the self weight, self weight, close. This let us assign to the view. Assign. Yes. Live load, select the live load, add. Live load is going to be of a plate load. 
this pressure on the full plate that is equal to downwards minus 20 in gy axis and ok this is going to be at the bottom of the plate only select the bottom of the plate yes no take the bottom the plate cursor select check yes assign to the selected plates assign yes the sides are going to have that will assign as a hydrostatic let us assign plate load hydrostatic select the plates let us take beforehand we will give the plate orientation ok let us take this plate in a new display so it is acting towards the inside so we have to give the minus add it's going to be of minus 20 y direction local set and close now let us go to the entire structure same manner let us give in the other direction add plate loads plate load hydrostatic pressure select the plates let us take only this side let us see in the new view in the same it is acting to away from the center of the tank so water is also same z axis is also same so let us select all plates done and it is of 20 y and local set and close and the same fashion let us give in the other two directions also. Let us go to the entire section. Go to the top view. Select only this plate. Go to the new view. Ok. It is acting outwards. So from the outward to the sorry from inside to the outside. So add plate load hydrostatic pressure select the plates select all the plates done so it is a positive y direction local z axis ok close now let us go to the once again entire structure top view let us take this plates and only this plate let us see in the new window ok this is acting inside but what pressure acts outside so minus we are supposed to give so add hydrostatic pressure from the plate loads select the plates select all plates done it should be given minus 20 y direction local z axis add close now we have given for the entire wherever you want all the things were given then we are supposed to give the wind loads the wind load calculation we will see in the next video in the part 2 thank you